And we have exciting things going on today in the studio. A baker from Owasso's Drizzle Cakes and Bakes is set to appear on the Food Network to be a part of a Halloween baking championship. But before we see her on the eighth season of the show, she's joining us now live in studio with Six News reporter Autumn Pitcher. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Joining me now live is Jill. Jill is the owner of the bakery, and she is going to be doing some baking with us here today on the show to show off her talent. So, Jill, tell us, what will you be making today? Hi, good morning. So, this morning, I am getting us into the spooky season. Well, I have made a black pepper and cardamom pumpkin pie with some little um, accents to go along with it, and also a very special decorative cake to go off or to start with today, too. Delicious. Sounds good. So let's dive into it. I'm going to have you start decorating and yeah. doing your thing. And while you do that, tell us about some of the specialties that your bakery has to offer. Is this kind of a specialty, a pie that you usually do? Tell me about some of the others. Yeah, so we at Drizzle Cakes and Bakes, uh, is we are completely custom. So everything is made to order. So we like to make things just a little bit elevated. So a pumpkin pie can look a little bit boring. So we've just taken some pie crust, some extra pie crust, and make it made a kind of fun jack-o'-lantern face. Cute. Just because. I love it. Makes it to a go little along bit more with the fun orange. to look like. Yes, makes it a little spooky. <laughs> uh, got some leaves in here that we can throw on it too. Uh, so this one is, again, with the black pepper and the cardamom in it, gives it kind of more of a chai flavor. It's really fragrant and really gets you into the, the um, Halloween, Halloween season. Spirit. Exactly. Absolutely. What is more quintessential than pumpkin for Halloween? Absolutely. Now tell us, how did you get on this Food Network uh, series here? Yeah, so they actually contacted me back way before anybody was even thinking about Halloween, and it was a very long process to, you know, kind of prove that they you are who they're looking for as one of the contestants that you've got the chops to you know hang with all of the incredible talent that goes into that kitchen and I was lucky enough to prove who I am as a baker and an artist and I could not be more grateful to have had that experience that's amazing so tell us more about that experience was this really a challenge for you yes <laughs> yes <laughs> When they say Halloween baking challenge or championship, it, it, it really is uh, a championship. You have to give it everything you've got. Like they throw you things at you that you would not typically be doing in a normal everyday setting. In a quick time period too, I've it's seen. So quick of time. <laughs> yeah, there you all of a sudden you're thrown a time and you're just told to go and it's just like ah. <laughs> so it's it was it was definitely challenging, but you in that challenge you learn a lot about who you are as a baker and of course. an artist and you you know sometimes it's better not to overthink things as well so yes. <laughs> well jill thank you so much for being here with us today and coming up in the next half hour jill will be baking even more goodies and showing us another recipe and if you would like to see her on food network the episode airs on september 12th here for you live in studio autumn pitcher six news